Hello, this is my submission for the module of current challenge. Uh, well, I'll start by describing a little bit the, the challenge. So, uh, the idea behind this challenge is to provide of a number of differences between two entities using rules. Okay, so uh, I'm Mateo, and well, this is my my user in the module of platform. Okay, so I'm using uh, here uh, a Drupal I, I had uh, previously for the for this demo, but uh, it shouldn't you shouldn't care about this. So if I edit one node, I edit the title and I give it some text, maybe I add some test and change some I know, some properties here, comment settings, closed and let's do it right, right this and when hitting save what the module does is using rules compares the two entities and lists all the all the changes that uh, that have been detected. Okay, I cannot use I cannot use this alias. I, I just change the alias. And when this is saved, uh, the model detects that there are some differences. Uh, one difference is for the for the body field. We we detect that there, there is an added string, and in the field stack we go from having no no tags to having two tags. Uh, a change in the title. Now the the node is not promoted, but it's sticky to the top of the list, and the, obviously the changed property uh, is different. So uh, the timestamp, the node was last saved, and the comment properties. Okay, this is the list of all differences between the two entities. Uh, here, using rules, uh, I I can output also the same differences but not using HTML here I'm using HTML to output these little icons and changing the font for the line number and the background but I can also generate it in plain text for for emails okay so these are the the difference oh sorry these are the differences between the, the two entities the differences are structured in a nested way and what I mean by that is that you can when you compare two, two entities you get differences for each property okay so a property would be a field or the title or the timestamp the node was created and for each property you can have multiple multiple differences so when you generate the differences you can loop through the properties that have changed and then the differences for each uh, for each property okay uh, one notable difference between uh, this and uh, what the diff module does is that uh, the diff module only compares the fields, differences in, in fields. Okay, so I had to implement uh, other, all other differences. This is the code responsible for, for doing this and I will start describing the rules integra integration. Uh, first thing, I declare two kinds of of new data, uh, div and div property, 
the diff property here holds uh, uh, the name of the property and uh, the number of changes in that property and then holds a list of differences and each difference is a collection of a, an integer uh, describing the type uh, which means describing if it's an addition or a deletion the subject name, this is the name of the property that has changed this is a back reference for the property name and the line where this occurred because we can handle here multiple line fields and the difference itself finally the order, this is just a, an integer um, that allows us to alter the way the differences are are output in this in the screen. This is not very interesting. It's just used for for internal stuff. Okay. Uh, so having declared these two data types, we go to the hook uh, rules action info, where we declare just one action that is called calculate differences between two entities and um, it takes one entity and the other entity, the two entities that are being compared and it has a little checkbox called extra that is used to include extra fields uh, in, the, in the comparison because um, this is not provided by the diff module so uh, you can deactivate the the feature okay and this action provides a list of properties with differences okay uh, I also added a, a validation callback here that will mm, throw a uh, an exception and uh, validation over the the change entity if the change entity type is not the same as the uh, original entity type okay so uh, you cannot compare at least using this this rule to different entities okay entities of uh, two different types sorry Okay, when you execute the rule, you come here and you return the list based on this method. This method, what well, this method does, is includes the, the diff module to use the diff compare entities where you pass in the original and change entity and the variable called context that contains the entity type. Okay, so in our example, this would be node. And if the extra checkbox is marked, uh, we add here the, <coughs> the differences for the extra fields. Then iterating over each field, we put um, the, we translate from the output of the diff module to the output we need in our, in our types. Okay, so uh, here we we put the if this is a deletion or an addition, uh, the property name, the the actual difference, text difference, the line number, etc. So this is uh, just going from whatever the diff module gives us to the data structure that we need to use in rules. Okay, and at the end we return the output and we have it ready to use it. Uh, let's see now this extra comparison to, to get the differences in the extra fields. Mm, what I'm doing here is getting a metadata wrapper to use uh, entity API in these entities. I list then all the properties that are available to the uh, to the wrapper, uh, which are all the properties in the entity, and then I check that 
it's not a field because we already have the differences between fields. If there is a difference between the two properties, so the values are not the same, uh, we need to, to generate a, a difference in the same, in the same way that the diff module would. So uh, we need to output an old string and a new string, and this will be different. Okay, uh, what this chunk of code here does is handling uh, proper st string casting, because uh, while doing this, this is very convenient, but we may end up here having a, a user a user object and that would not cast to to a string perfectly so we need to to do some some work and what we do is we first get the the value and if the value is of type one of these then we know we are safe to proceed and we proceed and if not what we do is check if the get identifier is available to the wrapper. That would mean that this is, uh, for instance, uh, an instance of the entity Drupal metadata wrapper, and we can get the identifier. So in our case, this would would work for a for a user. Okay, and we would get the the UID of the user. That is fine for us. Okay, so uh, here is if we changed the author, for instance, of the of the the author of of the note, we would get uh, a change in the UID. Okay, and if we cannot handle it, we try to serialize it and use it as as a string. Okay, and the same we do the same for the original and the changed entities. Up until now, uh, we have uh, the differences in our data structures, but we don't have a comprehensive way to output the differences. So the better way to do it is to use tokens. And that is why we declare two kinds of tokens. So the idea here is to be able to output um, the differences for a whole property. So you type in uh, a token and you get all the differences for that property, but also to be able to iterate over each property and using the token, uh, being able to output just that difference. Okay, uh, to do that, we, I declared two token types, which are called the same as the original um, rules datas, data types, uh, and they have the same properties inside. But the difference with the um, when when we have a compound compound output, we can do it by outputting with HTML or plain, and we do it by using this plain here. Okay, and this is for the for the difference and for the, uh, let me scroll down, for the list of differences in the token replacements. We can see that what we are calling is a theme function that will output uh, a list of differences with a nice title in one case and each difference would be uh, another theme function with the uh, difference type, the line where the difference occurred and uh, the difference itself. So here is where we, we add uh, one icon or another the line number and uh, the difference that occurred. 
Finally, the theme functions, uh, these are pretty simple. The theme function for the difference list uh, will be, uh, would be like this, where we input uh, the list of differences and we theme individually each difference and store it in an item list and if we have HTML available, we output like an item list, item list with this argument uh, here of adding the title to differences for property quotes name. Okay, if uh, we have it, we want it HTML free, uh, we just output it in, in this way. Okay, and then lastly, the theme function to output a single to output a, sing, a single difference uh, is combining all the all the information here. In we add the line number if it's available to us, and then we add the difference. here that we pass in uh, if it's not HTML we use this notation and if it's HTML we just add a, a span class and here using CSS uh, we we get some color and this is the Unicode code for the for the icons that I used and that's it so the last thing that I want to show is here how by editing the action to calculate the differences between two entities if I try to select an entity but it's not of the same type of the original There is that validation callback, throwing an exception and ca uh, catch it by by rules, and it highlights the the second entity, and yeah, that's it. Okay, one last thing is uh, to es explain here how we got to loop through all the all the properties. Uh, first, this is provided by the action. We loop through this variable list, and then for each difference inside the property differences, we loop again and we give it difference item. And finally, we show a message on the on the side with a difference in plain text and this was the the yellow the yellow output and well that's it i i'll try to submit the model as soon as i can thank you